Hey folks, Whip here and welcome back to Better Minecraft Episode 2. Yep, we're just gonna start it down here. Thank you all so very much for the support on Episode 1. I'm so excited for this series and I'm really glad to see you all are too. Today, we need to fix up our cottage and I'd love to build an animal barn or something right down there because there's so many awesome animals in this area and I really want to bring them back home with us. Be sure to leave a like if you're excited and please subscribe. Our first project today, however, is going to be tackling the interior of this house. I really love the shape of it, but um, this this will not do. This will not do if we're trying to build a cute, adorable cottage core area. First, let's get a floor in here. And I want to start off with some oak wood so it helps to brighten up the area. I know we used it up there, but I think it'll be okay. And I'm very cheap, so give me the slabs. So we need to start slapping down a few walls. We have this giant chimney coming down over here, and I, so we might need to do a little room right over in here. This could honestly be our bedroom in the front. And then I think we just add another doorway coming all the way back over here, and maybe this will be a two wide one. So it's a big door to get in the kitchen, living room area. I heard a llama. I heard a llama. I'm working on things out here, but I heard a llama. Where's the emeralds? Let's go. Let's see what we can get. Wandering trader, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Llama? Llama. I heard the llama. <gasps> there he is. Oh, hi. Oh, you're beautiful. You have a nice red coat. What do you got for me, Lily? Ooh, cactus. That's a big come up. Yeah, that's huge. Mysterious bundle. Leather boots for 25 emeralds. We're going to buy a lot of mysterious bundles. Now, what do these give? Iron? Iron? <gasps> Iron sword and cake. We're decorating right now. You knew exactly what I wanted. Chainmail and some string. Was it worth all those emeralds? Probably not, but it's fine. Now back in here for decorating. An age old trick that I have that I always use and I love, you take some strip logs like we have here and you just alternate them and it's so clean. It works out so well. Look at that. Look how beautiful that little wall design is right there. It's so simple. I almost forgot. We're gonna go get some animals today. Wait, when Mr. Wandering Trader, I need one more thing from you. He's running away, he's running away, and I'm even trying to be nice here. Where can I get a boat? I need a boat. I thought we were friends. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Go free, go free, my friend, I'm keeping your llamas. I wanna get started first on decorating our bedroom, just as a smaller room that we can tackle and really get the design elements down. And I need to find some more clay, as I pretty much used all of it that we had for bricks already. But I might as well get the sugar cane while we're here, cause uh, we need a lot of that stuff. I see a tiny bit right here though, so that'll help. And this should be more than enough. Do what every starting Minecraft player does is just surround the river with sugarcane. It'll be fine, we'll clean it up later, definitely, sure. And now to get these boys cooking. All right, for the little room back here, we don't have too much space to work with and it's kind of tight. We have some empty bookcases that we can actually store books in. So we can do something like this and bam, they show up. And then if we do them in different places over here, they show up differently. Look at that, I love it. So this could be fun right there. I like it. I kind of like that. Too much? Maybe, but, but fine. Through the power of innovation, we can now make many, many dark oak chairs. Do one right there. Oh, that's the wrong way. It's absolutely tiny, but it's mine. It's my chair. And bam, we now have light source. I like this. I This is really cozy in here. Okay, next room. I started throwing up some decoration thingies with the shelves right over here and some plants on them, and I do like it, but I think before we can really get into that, we need to figure out what this chimney looks like over here. Okay, cute, I like this. This is really starting to come together over here. Maybe we do two chairs at the main table here in the kitchen. Got some of our leaves in here because we need them for sure. For some extra seating, we can throw a bench right back in there. And then I found these crates, which I don't know what they do. Nothing, they do, they do nothing except look beautiful. Okay, they stay in the corner. You guys are way too loud. Stop talking. What is that? What, what, what? I am terrified. What is that thing? Oh, it's from the Soul Lantern. Oh my gosh, that, yeah, no, you don't get to stay here. Soul Lantern, I'm sorry, the souls stay inside. This is looking so cool in here. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with the brand new kitchen that we have. I added this floor down here, so it just has a little bit of separation to it. We got some ingredients on the wall right over there with our salt at the base. And then we got some barrels we can start filling up with all of our farming goods. The front is an absolute mess right now because I want to transform this area over here into a study. 
but I want this section to feel like it's the main storage area because I want to quickly come inside, get my stuff, and be able to run right back out as we're going. I've got it figured out, and I keep finding fun new blocks to be working with over here, so we actually have a little kitchen sink right there. Oh, I love it. And inside over here, we've got all of our barrels. we got a little storage section there. I moved all of the chests over and piled up a bunch of barrels behind it which gives us access to this tiny room in here. That I still have no idea what to do with it, so I'm kind of ignoring it. But to mix things up a touch down here and actually squeeze in some extra storage, I'm using a trick that I learned a while ago of just placing barrels upside down. And there we go. This is looking really cool. I gotta work on this study a bit further over here, but honestly, I think I might hold off on it. And somewhere during this excursion, I sorted all of my bread into something that I don't, I don't know where they are. I lost, I lost my food. This is the problem with your entire house being storage. It just disappears. Everything disappears. I've made a grave mistake. I used my bucket to create the sink over there and I've used all my other iron to create lanterns and I can't make a new bucket. And I really wanted to do some farming because I'm out of food. Okay, well, at least we can get these guys. At least we can harvest these for now. But there's one final thing I wanna do on the house before we get out of here. I'm planning on building in this area later today so I don't feel bad taking down one of the trees. The harvest moon rises, your crops provide a better harvest. I just harvested them all. That is very, very spooky though. And now I'm stuck in a bush. All right, let's get out of here. What I wanted to do is change all of these leaves that we had on the inside to being some of the green ones because it was just feeling too warm in here. We needed some other colors besides the warm wood tones. The harvest moon sets. Okay, so you have to harvest at night if you want that benefit. I will be ignoring that. But for now, what we need to be not ignoring is iron. We have to find some somehow, and I think I can at least combine these guys together. Sharpness three and the durability bonus. I like that. I like that a lot. Goodbye home, hopefully we will be back soon. Oh, no, 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 we're leaving, we're leaving. I'm leaving, it's your home, you can have it. All right, bye creeper. Hello my neighborhood friendly bears, I'll be going this way. I did find a little cave to jump outside right around the corner. We got some andesite right over there and iron, thank God. Nothing else too eventful down here right now. Besides some glow lichen, which will be fun to decorate with. We got our first bits of lapis down here, which is awesome. That means we can start doing some enchanting if we can get up to 30. I see a magic crystal down there, but I need this iron first. Now, what is this? Crystal heart cluster. Do I need silk touch to break it? Let's see. <gasps> no, we can still get it. Amazing. What's this do? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Another one. There's a lot more. That rock thing again. Oh no. Goodbye. What is this cavern? This is beautiful. Check this thing out down here, everybody. Whoa. Is this what the new caves are supposed to be like? Because this is beautiful. Look all the way down there. There's something that I probably shouldn't be looking at. We are down at Y level four right now, which means this must be going down into the negatives of the deep dark. There goes the pickaxe. Okay, I am not equipped at all to be exploring further in these caves. So I think this is something that we come back to later on. Oh, I want that iron. Our first cobblestone pickaxe. I was really hoping we could avoid these. It's nighttime, but I'm hearing another wandering trader around here. I'm gonna put these torches on the ground just to remind us that this is the cave to get all the way down there. Nothing really I want in here, except that spruce trap door, 26 emeralds, a little tempting. This is a frozen mine shaft? Question mark? Oh, it's a dungeon. I'm so gonna die. Oh Lord, yeah. Yeah, we're in trouble down here. We're in a lot of trouble down here. And I just got this advancement. Find an upgraded monster room. That doesn't seem good. That doesn't seem good at all. We got our first chest in here. That does seem good. That does seem good. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Shut that trap door right now. Oh, I really hate these. No, 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 no. Okay, we still really hate these. Still really hate these. Getting rid of the spawner now. Oh, there's a chest in the corner. Oh, we're in a new one, by the way. I haven't even went down the first one. Okay, I think we got them all. So not, not at all worth it, but we'll take it. Why does the barrel above have better loot than the spawner down there that tried to kill me? What is this? Invisibility cape. Oh my God, look at me. I'm here, I'm gone. I'm here, I'm gone. <gasps> I love modded Minecraft. Still here. All right, back to that dang room here at the start. Let's see if we can get this guy out of here quickly. Nope, nope, nope. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate. No, I still hate, I still hate. Lots, so much hate. And less hate. Oh, I can go invisible, that's right. Oh, I could have used that. 
I'm not really sure what was supposed to be in here, but I think we did it. I think we did most of it. I did see something through here though that I wanted to go check out. Oh, no, we're dying. Oh, there's a skeleton skull. Oh, this must have been that spawner advanced mini thingy that we found. <laughs> this thing's just right through the middle of it and deleted the spawner. Well, that is too funny. What loot do we have over here? Two dirt and two cobwebs, but a skeleton skull. That'll go perfect in our base. And surprisingly, two more music discs, but we got a great amount of stuff so far. And it is daytime. All right, we only have like nine more inventory slots here, but I think we can still do some more exploring. And instantly we found some lanterns and, uh, oh no, I don't want to fall in the bear pit. If there's one thing I know you don't want to end up in, it's a pit with a bear. Bear pits are dangerous things, my friends. Oh, bears themselves are dangerous things. It's less the pit, it's more so the bear. But what is this? Is this like another dojo that's gonna kill me? Oh yeah, yep, yep, something's killing me. Oh, they can see me even though I'm invisible. It does not work, it does nothing. The cape does nothing. Invisible skeletons. All right, well, there's ninjas around here. But what do ninjas have as treasure? Gold, everything. Oh, stone bricks, valuable, so valuable. Taking out the ninjas, taking out the ninjas. Got him. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. That's a wither rose. Wait, that's huge. And we got a Monastery Explorers map over in this. I don't know what that is, but I do like adventures. Not really sure where we are anymore, but we just got into a brand new biome that appears to be like a sort of a jungly biome, but still with spruce trees. Is that all diorite? <gasps> Why am I in love? This must be like a geyser or something or intended to be a geyser and there's calcite, there's diorite. Oh, I love that. Is that, that's not gonna kill me, is it? No, no, it's not. Okay, yep, just jump right in. Smart move on my part. <gasps> doggo, doggo, wolf, wait, wolf, wolf, come here. <gasps> Best friends forever. Yes, we are, you're adorable. Oh my God, I love you. Come with me, my new friend. We must find the monastery. Oh, that's very dark and ominously creepy down there. Oh, those are Vex. Those, stay out of there, Wolfie. Those are, those are not friends. We are not going in the fairy forest. The only person who I hate more than the person that added vexes into this game is the one who thought vexes should spawn naturally inside of a forest. I didn't think they could get worse, but here we are in front of two, three beautiful Jeb sheep. What do I get when I shear you guys? Rainbow wool. We have to bring those home with us at some point. I need more. Look at this stuff. Look at this rainbow wool. Another wolf, another wolf. I would love you. Yes. Hi. Hello. Welcome to my army. Another friend. Hi. Two. Three. Wait. Be my friend. Be my friend. And you. I must have you. <gasps> adorable. Okay. We have so many wolves. They are adorable. Our army is amazing. Also, I'm beginning to think this um a monastery that we're trying to go to right now. It's very, very far away in this direction. Let's go check out that. And then I think, I think we're just going home. I don't know if this is, but this might be the stronghold. No, it's something else even more terrifying. There's a mushroom cow on a golden throne. Oh, it's an exploding room. Wolves, we're not going in there. Which for all of this, I think we're gonna be taking it home with us. The stone pickaxe can stay in there. And we have two more diamonds. Oh yes, amazing. So much better than a spider eye. And we need to go back home and build up that animal barn because I still want to get all of these amazing animals we keep finding around the world. And I have to get those rainbow sheep. That We have to get some rainbow sheep home. It has to happen. Finally back home with our army of doggos that we now have. And oh my gosh, they are all too amazing. So everybody gets to come and live inside. You guys aren't staying in the animal barn. No way, Jose. Come on in here. Everybody take your seat. Come on. Yep. It's great. Yep. Hi, there you go. Yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. Come on in. Where's the last one of you? There should be a sixth. I hope. Maybe he didn't want to come home with us, I guess. Okay. Now for my greatest failed exploration mission here, we're going to throw that right in there. But I currently have three name tags for all of you, and there's five of you. So I'm going to hold off on naming you for a bit. But if anybody has ideas for names for these lovely little wolves, be sure to let me know down in the comments. You best believe... Oh, I'm invisible again. You best believe that we are 100% building our dog cafe. Cat cafes, no more. Dog cafes. This is weird every time I do it. Still weird. Yep, it's still, still weird. It's a weird animation. I don't, I don't. I'm just gonna disappear now. I've been trying to leave my house for about five minutes now, and this guy 
is just chilling right outside my front door. Wait, our windows are trap doors. Can we get out this way? <gasps> we have to go quick. We have to go quick before he gets us. He owns the house now. We, we're we moving out. We're finding a new place. But with that, before we can build, we got to prep this area up just a little bit. Looking much better in here already. I think I might need to bring some more dirt in and just level this whole area off. I'm thinking if we do one right in here, we can have another one right in here. And then we bring it around right over this side. We do a third animal section and then maybe a fourth. But do they really need three wide? Because instead we could do one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that might work out a little bit better for ourselves. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot more. I This, this is going to be a lot better. I think the central bits of the structure are going to be wood, but then we can bring in a little bit of cobblestone. So we give them four blocks deep. That should be enough space for a few animals to run around in. And then we just bring this guy all the way back. And I'm getting all the dirt I could ever need. Now, I've learned in the past that animals hate trap doors. So we're going to try and use as many fences and fence gates as we possibly can in here. But on the inside, in between the different ones, I think we just got to do the double tall on the logs here. Or Flip be smart about this one and save some resources and just do that. Yeah, that, that'll look good. But now, next up, I am actually out of cobblestone. We only have 34 left, and I want to do a whole second layer and probably some more on the ends here. So down into the mines we go. The last time we found this spooky place. I know I'm here for cobblestone, but I just found a bunch more iron ore. Oh, lovely. We have one of those giant mine shafty things under us again. Okay, that's that's fine. Oh, it's very fine. Another invisibility cape. This has turned into the impromptu mining expedition that I never thought I wanted and probably still don't. But we're getting a lot of stuff down here, trying to get as much andesite, gravel, and cobble as I can for the build back upstairs. This right here should hopefully do it for us today. We've got a lot of building to do and unfortunately more tree chopping to put a roof on this guy. I'm tired of hitting my head, so I'm fixing this as well. All right, this right here is already starting to look really, really cool. I threw in the cobblestone bricks down at the base again, and oh, it's looking good it's looking real good all right it is time to start out on the roof here and i'm thinking we do the same style we did on that guy right over there by bringing in the dark oak trim around the base and the edges i did extend this front side out another stair so that we get that odd width and we can have it coming up to one central point but i'm realizing now that if i wanted to do it the same way we did it previously all of these slabs we just placed down need to be stairs. Very happy to know I made a few hundred slabs for no reason, but you know, we're just gonna bring it right back down here. It'll be okay. Yeah, it looks off-centered from the base because it is, but I think it's gonna work out really well just extending over this way just a touch. I'm bringing the supports up on the inside in here so we have a little bit more space to work with. And then also to make sure it lines up well on these ends, I'm actually replacing a little bit of the cobblestone here with some more oak log pillars. We can use some trapdoors and things to buff out the edges and make it look a lot smoother, but I like this so far. Bringing a few fur trapdoors in right along here and some double spruce trapdoor action for the inside to help tie the support pillars together. I think that's starting to look really nice. And on the ends back here, I think I'm just gonna be throwing in a bunch of spruce as well to fill it in. We can do some more of the fur trapdoors on the corners or maybe up here just to bring a little bit of extra light in this area We can add in some of our trapdoor action for some big old windows. Yeah, that's looking really good And then what if we tried some spruce trapdoors right along here, too? That could work as a good divider and some spruce posts right up there Yeah, I'm liking that that's looking good except I think the spruce on spruce is not the best so instead more dark oak it is. Yes, that's looking much better. And we can put a little flower pot right in there with a flower. Oh, it's gonna be great. And then another element we can do is some cross beams right up here using these posts too. These posts, I'm gonna use them everywhere. I think they're like my new version of trapdoor spam. I've made a good amount of progress on the build over here since we last checked in. We got these things extended up. I finally found a use for those oak bars that I had in here. So that's kind of lining everything out on the inside. And it's looking really cool. I'm liking these a lot. A few more fur trapdoors were thrown in and overall it's looking pretty good. Next up, we need to have a way to get the smelly smells of the animals from there out of the top. So I was thinking we come in right over here 
throw an oak trap door in right like that, dude. And we just bring in some fur around it going over the top. I think this will look okay like that. Or we have the second option here, bringing in some of the dark oak, which I'll be honest, I kind of like better. I kind of like the dark oak better, but I'm gonna do an in-between route here of extending it out one further. And of course, make sure we have good airflow down here, repeating it on the backside. Oh, that looks so much better. I'm loving that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. With the spooky ominous tower in the background. Oh, it's a perfect cute little cottage car animal barn. Next up is gonna be bringing that entire road pattern we've done over there with this like rocky dirt as well as the cobblestone just to fill in this entire area for our animals to rest on. Come to think of it, inside the stalls, it's probably better to do coarse dirt and have that transitioning out into the rocky dirt. Our whole road is now in connecting of the two structures and this is giving a much different vibe than we originally had and it's moved a bit away from the cottage core. So now we need to reintroduce that. Which step one of cottage core as I understand it, flowers. Lots and lots of flowers. Then maybe we can do some lanterns right back in here. I know it's just gonna make it really tight there in the corner, but I like it. I think that works out. It has felt a bit top heavy though. So I'm gonna try moving the trap doors down we also got the vines and the glow lichen today, so maybe we can add some of those guys in here so it can just kind of grow itself around. And of course, we also do have the autumn colored leaves that we've been adding all over the place. I might have mentioned earlier about putting a hayloft over here, but I think I might hold off on that one for now because I want to give ourselves a little bit more color and decoration in here. So the more bushes we can throw in, I think is going to be the better. I'm coming to realize that Flip Cottage Core is literally just overgrown. <laughs> So overgrown, it is also in the animal stalls. I know we really didn't change all that much, but I'm loving this a lot more. And I think next up, we need a water feature of some sorts, like a water trough for the animals to get a drink from. And the only stone that I have that might work here, honestly, bricks. We could use bricks. I'm thinking something literally just this simple right over here will work out really well for us. So we get the full water source in the base and hopefully this doesn't mess up and Per, maybe, maybe we extend that out to be a bit bigger. There we go, now that's perfect. And of course, flower. Next up for a lovely little paradise, I'd like to turn this corner here into a small field for some carrots and use the fancy infinite water source to bring another section right up here. And that'll do it for the amount of carrot field action we need. Then I was thinking for our railing over here to build some brick walls into it to help it link up right there. We could do that guy. And then we just take spruce fences going all the way back here. Then of course, filling everything in here with the carrots we do not have, but we make up for that with bone meal. This was meant to be, even the carrots have flowers on them. Okay, this looks way too good. And I love that field over there. So I wanna bring this whole wheat field we have here all the way down this edge of the hill too. I think it it just, it has to happen. All right, and here we go. The entire hillside has been finished up with planting the wheat seeds going all the way down. And I cannot wait to see what this thing looks like when it grows up. This whole area is really starting to come together. I haven't been able to build a little farming area like this for so long and I am having such a blast with it. This is looking really, really cool. And I got a lot more food. I went AFK for a little while here because I wanna see what this looked like all grown up and the wheat field looks fantastic for one, but check this out over here with our shaders on. Look at the area we have created today. Look how magical that is. This big old tree up there, I wanna turn into a big fantastic custom tree just overhanging the area. Something a little bit more colorful and more grand than a plain old oak tree, but that is really giving me it's a lot of inspiration for something new here, my friends. But thank you all so very much for watching today. Next episode, we will get the animals locked into their pens, and it'll be absolutely amazing. So any animals you think I should grab, be sure to let me know down in the comments. But unfortunately, I have completely run out of time here as I am invisible. Hi, there I am. Hello. Be sure to leave a like down below on this episode if you did enjoy, and be sure to subscribe if you're brand new. But with that, my friends, I will catch you on the flip side. I don't know why I keep doing this, but I do.